Hi, welcome back to Valida's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I want to just do a quick video how I cleaned this room up and just made the space, this, this tiny little space, more usable. Um, last time you may have noticed I said that I needed to clean all under the tables. Well, I've done that and I've put all my scrapbooking and papers and stuff under there. That's my uh, ukulele amp and that little thing there is a bobbin lace box that my dad made. And um, me and my daughter have been having a little go at that. They, they are stamps I need to sell. Um, on the table here, I've got this big pile of brown polar fleece. I've just had an order for um, $1,000 worth of puppets. These are the style puppets that I make. And, um, yeah, they the, the lady that wants them, um, are they're going to an Aboriginal school, so they have to look like Aboriginal people. So that's going to be fun. Um, I've just got most of the supplies ready for that. Now all my stamps and, or some of my stamps and punches, mainly my punches are up here. They're all in the same place. I've gone through all my um, pencils and tools and things on the table. And I've also gone through my stamp pads. So I've got some of them coming up for sale as well. So I've just sort of gone through. That sort of mainly looks the same. Um, over here I'll show you this card when I'm finished. So I've got my um, cuddle bug sitting there. These are a pile of um, puppet arm rods that my dad and my cousin Alfie made for me when I went down um, to mum and dad's last week. And they actually, they just clip over the puppet's hand and then you can use the puppet um, hand independently like that when you're um, doing a puppet show. And so this space here I had a lot of just papers and just, just stuff here, but I've um, put my sewing machine here. That's a puppet that's almost finished. I've um, got my own label in there, and um, I've just got to put some eyes and hairs on that puppet. And um, that's my puppet box that got all my bits and pieces in it for sewing. So, <coughs> um, yeah, I really feel like um, God's given me a talent to, to make these. So um, I'm just trying to do, you know, just work with the talents that I have and do some of them up as well. Um, my cotton rack here, I've got all my colours in here. I put a um, plastic protector thing on the front because the last time I had it um, without that, it just got all dust sort of on it. So I've just put all my cottons in there for my sewing machine and the different coloured puppet skins that I have and I cleaned that down I had paper on top of there so I've just put all my crocheting hooks and and um, cottons and bits and pieces all the things in this drawer here are still the same as the last video that is my latest project of well, this little stool I'm going to recover it I might do that with some crocheting yet and um, that was my um, I recovered that just Oh, a few days ago I like this chair it's an old chair with little hearts sort of in it and and so I recovered the, the pad of that and over here I've just got all my ukulele stuff and my music stand so um, I want to try and get my ukulele up on a rack but I'm, that's still in the process of doing that here's a little softy that I made with the um, some of the scrap pole please because I <laughs> tend to um, get a lot of scrap um, hanging around and that little uh, koala in there, it's actually back in the 19, I think it's the 1970s koala. And it's made out of real uh, kangaroo fur. And I used to have one like that as a kid. And um, Dave came home with one from a, an antique shop for me uh, not long back. And it was really, I really love it. <laughs> so my computer table is the same. But on top here, I ended up getting some storage ideas and I've put all my wool up there or what you'd call yarn and um, just put it all in colour sort of you know um, up the top I've got projects that I've, I've finished in bags and all that foam up there are pre-cut or it's ready cut foam to make the puppets with um, the normal size puppets and I think I've got baby size puppets and, and other shape puppets up there so the latest thing that I've put in this room is this cupboard, this long skinny cupboard. And I wanted, I only had all my puppet stuff in a, um, 
stripy bag and it was a real pain because I had no bench space once I got everything out. So I've got um, they are all puppet skins that I've cut up ready to go from the pattern and in here I've got different sorts of hair boxes of eyelashes um, lots of different eyes and in the next one I've got different furs different length furs for hair and glue and foam and that is material that I haven't cut up yet so that's all in there ready to go and um, what else oh I put I painted these words and put them above my window. One says create, the other says craft. And I've been doing a few little buntings to give to people and, and I made some for Easter. That's a little um, crocheted bunny bunting that I made. So I've been busy doing little things. That was a um, a little um, picture frame, crochet picture frame that I made as well. So back to the card. This is a card that I've just made and it will be for sale on my blog. It's a Magnolia Punch Art card. Really spectacular effect, like it's real artist type of effect. So it does stand up on the card a little bit. But, um, you know, it's got that wow factor. So I hope you pop over to my blog and have a look at the um, information there. It will be for sale. And the instructions, sorry, will be for sale, like all my other um, punch art instructions. And I think that's all I have to say. Oh, the kids are coming home. Uh, we had Easter at um, at Sydney, and we went to the Royal Easter Show. We went up to Katoomba to the Three Sisters and seen um, Dave's family up there as well. And so that was fun. We took all the kids with us, and they'll be coming home um, in a day or two for a weekend and a, and a part of a week to spend with us so that will be fun so another thing to watch out for is um, my puppets I'll be um, hopefully get something on the internet soon about how you could purchase one or some info about how I'm um, uh, just little bits and pieces of info on how I'm making them and um, you know especially like things like the arm rods and stuff like that some of this stuff is really hard to actually not to buy but you know it's stuff that you could sort of think up yourself and make if you have the resources or the people to help you so yeah so watch out for that and um, and my card coming on on my blog and I hope you're all having a, a great you had a great Easter and um, it's autumn here we're having beautiful weather in the way of um, autumn weather but we've had a lot of rain but that's okay I don't mind the rain all right so um, I'll catch you around and thanks for watching bye